I'm April, I'm a therapeutic support teacher at the Early Learning Academy. So I work with kids that are three sometimes to six years old. I feel like it's my job to teach them to love learning, to teach them to love coming to school. I also want you to know, I, I love what I do and, and I love that you're here. I have a book coming out with another author, Frank Murphy. He is incredible. He has a uh, seven book series of the Like You series. And I said, hey, I have an incredible idea with my background in special ed. I would love if you did a book called A Voice Like Yours. Or I, I just said a voice and he's like, a voice like yours, I love it. And we he really took my idea of using my special ed background and the development of voices and, and how it's important to not only use your voice to um, express your wants and needs, but to advocate for yourself, to um, express your your aspirations, your everything. Everything is expressed through our voices. It's really cool because we have two different perspectives on the book. Frank is a fifth grade teacher and so he really talks about advocating for your rights. Um, so in his, he, in his version of the book, he is talking about how you can write, you can write letters to people, you can express your voice through writing. And then I talk about expressing your wants and needs and, and not everyone uses their actual voice. I talk about using a tablet, which um, we use in my classroom all the time and that's called an AAC device. Um, and that is when a student will click a button and that tells you exactly what they want or need. I talk about using braille. We talk about using art, using um, singing, using songwriting. And it's really cool because there is a page where we talk about all the different types of expression, but throughout the entire book, the illustrations are just showing voices are not just what we use to talk. Um, and it's really cool. It's honestly, the illustrations just make the story come to life. The illustrator, Kayla Heron, who's incredible, she didn't know anything about special ed and she was like, please send me ideas. And I said, absolutely. So I went around to the EI classrooms and I actually just took pictures. And I said, here's stuff that we use on a regular basis to help our students express their voice. Um, and so she took my pictures and put them right in the book. And they, I mean, they're a cartoon, they're like a cartoon version, but it is really, really cool. The words on the page are incredible and they really, um, they talk about the different forms of expression and I love it. But I think it's also really important that those visuals, as young learners, they're learning from what they see and they're listening, but they're learning from what they see. And Kayla really took my pictures and made it just so vivid. And like, I'm so excited for, for students to see and also for the adult that's reading it to, to bring up conversation because I know there will be pictures where they're like, so that's what they use, what is that? And, and I'm excited for that. I think it's so important that people are exposed to different forms of speaking, whether that be Braille or AAC and sign language, obviously we have talked about that as well. So I'm so thankful for the opportunity that I've had with writing this book, of course. And not only that, but when I told the MCIE, when I told my boss that I was writing this book, not, she jumped right on it and she was so excited and said, you have to reach out to Regina Speaker and tell her, Oh my gosh, people really appreciate you here. And I just feel tremendously appreciated, um, not only for my book, but I just feel appreciated for what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I am constantly um, getting incredible feedback and just Susan coming here to be hands-on and showing that she cares about her employees, that that's, you can't ask for anything better than that. So I am incredibly appreciative of the MCIU.